Oh my gosh, oh my you guys. Oh, I'm an idiot. I just literally sat here talking to you guys for like a minute and a half and it wasn't even on. It wasn't even going. So here we are at a super special place. We're not going to give too much away because this is going to be in a video in a couple of days. I mean, what what could you possibly give away, Crandall? Uh, yeah, everything that, I mean, we just gave away the whole thing pretty much. <laughs> But we're outside. It's like 80 degrees today. Just amazing, amazing weather. Some of the best weather we've had so far this year. Uh, definitely the best weather we've had mm -hmm. this year. That's valid. That's yeah. true. Because um, I feel like the other days that it's been warm have been really, really windy. And today's not bad. Yeah, that's so true. Yeah, it's not very often, especially in the spring. Hi, Susie. The spring uh, that we get warm and non-windy days. Hi, Wanda. Uh, we do have the boys here with us. My mom's holding heart, or Paxton. Say hi, Paxton. Hello. Hello. Mr. Chubby Chubby Cheeks. Yeah. Hi, Patty. Hi, Don. Hi, Laurie. Can you say hi to Patty? And Harvey. He's just sitting here. He can't get enough of the airplane. He's just sitting there staring at it. Oh, you want to? Papa. You want to give a smile? Hi, Harvey. You want to give a smile, Harvey? Oh, that's cute. Oh, place. you cute. That was some radio. Here's. And here's Maverick. He's got his headphones on. Are you ready to go? Yeah. What are you doing? Tell everybody what you're doing. Airplane. Airplane what? Airplane. You're going to fly it? What kind of airplane? Stinson. A Stinson. Stinson. So we're going to go fly the Stinson today. I'll give you guys a quick walk around. Um, this. <laughs> Wait, say it again. Hi, Baddy. Hi, Baddy. <laughs> so this is the Mark Ward Charger biplane. We've talked about these a little bit on our channel. Uh, for those of you that are interested, I'll just go through it a little bit. Uh, this is the Marquardt Treasure Biplane. Uh, we built this one over the course of a lot of years, like six or eight years, six years, six years. Um, and it's now flying. Super sweet. Really fun one. Really fun one. It's actually open cockpit, which open cockpit, if you guys don't know, means that there is actually no cockpit. Well, there's no windshield. So, okay. There is a windshield, it just doesn't cover you completely. So it's like riding a motorcycle, but in the sky. It is super, super fun. Only problem with that is it has to be warm outside for you to go fly it, otherwise you freeze. So we might go fly that one later today because it is we such will, good weather. We most definitely will go, we will definitely go fly this one. <laughs> yes. It and then that's a 210. That one's uh, commercially made. Is it commercially made? I guess that's what you're uh, saying. A factory built. Factory yeah, built. factory built. <laughs> which my dad's doing a bunch of maintenance on it. As you can see, it's only got one tire and it's, it's supposed to have three. It's a uniplane. Yeah, it's a uniplane. Not sure how that works, but, uh, and then this is the Stinson and this is what we're going to be flying first and taking the boys in because we obviously can't take them in the other one. They might, uh, get a little windburn or right, something. Give me some air time for a second. Okay. <laughs> this airplane we got when Crandall was about the size of Maverick. And so I'm going to give Crandall some pictures so that he can show you what he would look like as a little kid. Working he doesn't know it. this, working on this airplane when it was it was new to us, but completely in need of restoration. So cute. He and his brother Dallin had their gloves on. We're pulling insulation out of the side and just having a great time. So yeah, wait, stay tuned you, for some of those. Yeah, we'll put that in the video. We're going to put some of those stuff in the video. But explain to them where you found it and like, like okay. the backstory of it. And yeah. So this airplane was built originally in 1946, uh, 47 in Michigan, just after World War II. So this airplane is almost 80 years old. And it was uh, last flown in 1993. And I found it in a farmer's field and in Colorado. Just when eBay was starting to, to kind of go big, I saw a lady starting to post airplane instruments and some projects. And I finally decided to call her. And so I called her up and I, she said that her husband had died and left her with 40 acres of, of airplanes and golf carts and old cars. And he was a collector oh, of anything with an engine. Anything, yeah, anything <laughs> with an engine. And so I said, do you have any Stinsons? And she goes, I got seven of them. Oh my gosh. And I was like, are you kidding me? So we lived in Utah at the time and we, I immediately got a flight out and we went and toured and she was a character. She came out, so she had a gated, uh, entrance and she said I'll meet you at the gate I'm not gonna let you into the, the compound and I met her there and she put me in her PT cruiser and in between the seats was a 45 uh, caliber rifle and a 22 caliber rifle and the PT cruiser had a sunroof and I was like Miss Johnson how are you doing it's nice to meet you you know I've been <laughs> around guns she slams on the brakes before she even answers 
pops up out of the of her seat through the sunroof and shoots the 22 a gopher at about 20 yards. Oh my gosh. <laughs> and that was my introduction to her, to her place. Well, her husband had died, they had a fire and she was trying to sell everything. And so we found this Stinson and uh, we picked the best one of the seven. You have pictures of, you I have do. Pictures. Okay, we're, yeah. we're gonna put pictures of it originally as well in the video. Yeah. So we loaded it on the back, a, a trailer, took the wings off, put one, one wing on the, on the top of the Suburban, another wing on the trailer, and then the fuselage. And we dragged it all the way back to Utah and restored it over the next six years. So that's where this airplane came from. And uh, it's been flying now for almost 20, almost 20 years. Which is insane because I feel like we just started flying it yesterday. I remember, a base, I mean, I grew up with this airplane. So I kind of remember all like the entire, my dad built it in our garage or rebuilt it in our garage. And so I remember that was every all, every, phase. yeah. And my dad was out there every night working on it and I mean, cutting his head open on stuff and, you know, working on it. And it was <laughs> you, just, like, yep. just like, right, there. right there. I remember that. <laughs> I tried to use a piece of angle iron as a hammer, actually as a pry bar and it broke loose and I just bonked myself. Oh my gosh. Just like a metal stamp to the floor. Now Kendall's going to show you his airplane. Oh, yeah. We, yeah. Um, if you guys missed our last live, go back and watch it because we talk a lot about this and we talk about Marcy's uh, love for this airplane. But this is my airplane that I started building a couple of years ago. Four. It had, Yeah, three or four years ago. Is that right? Well, I started it in 2016 building the tail feathers, but then it stopped progress for two years and then it started back up. So I don't really know when you say I started it, but it's been a long time. Uh, this is a fuselage. This is where you sit. This is the pilot seat, passenger seat. Seat. Um, but yeah, it's put on hold because we don't have a place to work on it at our house, and we might work on it a little bit here at my dad's house. But it's kind of too far. It's it's a long drive to come and work on it for a little bit of time. And with building airplanes, you need like an hour every day. Or you really just might progress. say, "Hey, Dad, could you finish this for me?" Yeah, I think we should just yeah. Just you want to finish it? <laughs> I'll come. I'll come down here when it's done. We'll start flying. There we go. That's usually how it goes. With that. So, but no, this is uh, yeah, it's wooden fabric. This is actually this airplane is fabric as well. It's got a um, this one's all metal, so it's got steel and aluminum, but then it's fabric as well. Um, the other airplane over there, same type of thing, except it's got a wood wing, and then this one is all metal the entire thing. So there's a lot of different uh, ways of building airplanes, I guess. But these are just, uh, these are a few of the ones that we have. Hey, Linda. Hi, Deb. Remember, tell them what those are. What, what, are, what are those oh. airplanes? Look, Matt. Can you go on? There? What are those? A paints. What kind? Paints. RC. RC airplanes, yeah. Marcy airplanes. Marcy airplanes. <laughs> My kind of airplanes. <laughs> RC airplanes. So, anyways, we just want to jump on here real quick and, uh, show you guys what we're doing like i said we're super excited about it y'all have to stay tuned for i don't know what day what day's today monday tuesday tuesday, tuesday. thursday thursday this will probably be on thursday's video so we're super excited to share it with you guys it is going to be hopefully a blast and a half we have good weather hi peter um we have good oh, weather Peter, we're doing what you always ask us to do <laughs> yeah that's so true peter always peter wants flying videos if you guys don't know peter's colonel's cousin peter you haven't been on here for a while yeah and he's the one that built oh you guys don't know that yet that's going to be in the video never mind <laughs> so hopefully we love jumping on here with you guys we will see you guys on actually wednesday tomorrow's going to be our normally scheduled live yeah. and then thursday for the flying video so stay tuned for that we'll see you guys later